Star Wars, Star Wars, Star Wars. It's the hit film that's taking the world by storm, featuring your favourite characters such as Yogurt, Pizza the Hut, and of course Dark Helmet here um, in the Hunt for the Schwartz. And um, of course, directed by the visionary technological genius Mel Brooks. And um, yeah, it's it's uh, it's done quite well, and uh, it led to this sequel, uh, Rogue One, which is about an attempt to get some files from a, um, a filing system that's on um, a planet in outer space. Uh, and the filing system is really complicated to get at, so the, the, there's a whole plot about them using the uh, using the Schwartz to try and get at the, the files. And this is one of the spaceships from um, Star Wars Rogue One. It's TIE Striker, which is a streamlined variant of the classic TIE Fighter. Um, the TIE Striker is designed for atmospheric patrols over important ground-based Imperial installations. Uh, the, t uh, the uh, versatile design also allows it to soar into space where it can accompany traditional TIE fighters in chasing down enemy starships. Um, so you get a obviously a free figure with it and it's nerf compatible. So in the movie, the, uh, it's actually accurate to the film, so in the movie the TIE strikers actually fire these giant um, foam um, missiles are highly effective against the rebels, um, so that's, that's movie accurate. And uh, it's also compatible with the Hasbro um, Star Wars Studio FX app, which is quite good. You can uh, we'll use that before you can insert all kinds of fun things. You can have it, have uh, Death Star blowing up your local Gregs if you wanted to. Um, and as a special effect, of course. Right, so let's look inside and um, put it together. I got this from Home Bargains in the UK, where they often have a Star Wars merchandise which hasn't sold very well at all, and they flog it all off cheap. So I think I got this for about six pounds. Oh, let's see the inside of the box. So, well, that's what it looks like on the inside. Uh, apparently the movie is originally going to be called Phantom 2, but we decided at the last minute to change it to Rogue One. Um, right, here we are, so that's what it's like inside. Probably fast forward this bit, I think. And figure out how to do that on my uh, editing software. So, that looks like a. big bean, big uh, jelly bean. I like Star Wars. I like Star Wars in my life. If I didn't have Star Wars, I would die. Oh, oh no! I thought it was going to break. But luckily, they're rubbery. They're slightly rubbery for safety, and it's just as well because if they hadn't been, 
in my impatience to get it out, I would have snapped it into a lot of pieces. Yeah, Star Wars. Star Wars. Star Wars. The Wars of the Stars. Unlike the sets of all, there doesn't seem to be any stickers or decals. There's some really nice detailing on the uh, cockpit. Have a look at that. Have a look at that. Nice details. Very exciting. So one thing I don't like about Star Wars is how it just keeps getting better. The original films have been completely surpassed, especially the uh, the prequels. I thought were uh, the best of the best Star Wars films ever made. So uh, very flexible, like a waffle board. No, we're not. We're putting the top on. I think this is going to be fairly simple to put together. Yeah, back in the day, the old Star Wars toys, there'd be a lot of stickers to put on, but there's absolutely nothing really. Again, there's nice detail on, on there. Uh, step two, slot the wings on. Is this the right way? No, it's not the right way. There's a little storage bracket for the screen accurate uh, from space missiles. Two missiles. And then the undercarriage. to break it but it'll probably be okay. Sometimes you've got to use a bit of the dark side. Good damn it! Where are you going? Should I do the 
side ones first, and then which one? Oh, we're all on the side, you idiot. Right, they've got them in. Right, so I think that's it. I think that is done. Put um, on a dark helmets imperial man in his new house. Hello, yeah, the cockpit's nice detail. In he goes, full size, nice and secure in there. A lot of the uh, sadly, they don't have Star Wars written on the, the uh, side of them, which I kind of expected them to. Let's load one of the missiles into that thing. Actually, it's kind of see-through at the end, which is quite uh, interesting. But it makes them more laser. Right, I think that's right. Let's see. Three, two, one, fire. No, that doesn't work. That work. That doesn't work. Just playing. Missiles just sort of lost inside it. Maybe I should have primed it before I stuck the thing inside. See, it looks like there's an engine on the back, and it would have been nice to have had a. Uh, a there's an engine there, uh, engine hull. And it would have been nice to have had a sticker with just like a. like a what? Like an energy beam type thing for the engine. To make it look like there's some kind of power source on it, though, that would have been good. Well, I've absolutely no idea how this thing is going to work. Because I'm trying to push it down to prime it, but it's not working. So I don't know if I have a faulty model or I'm just completely doing it wrong. This is fun content. It's a lot of fun. Oh, hang on. There's a button there. There's a trigger at the back here. I don't know what that trigger's for. Oh, hang on. I think I've got it. Right. So it can flap its wings. Yeah. So presumably that's for atmosphere mode. Deploy wings and that's for going into space, maybe. But yeah, I'm not having much luck with this cannon. Oh, hang on, right, here we are. I think it may have loaded. Right. Three, two, one, fire! Let's see if it's compatible with other Star Wars merchandise. Here's a Star Wars blaster. quite good range on that one, so that's good well. So let's have a look at close up of it. Go in space, Star Wars in the fighting space, in the space war of space, fighting to save 
the world from space. Thank you very much for watching. Good night.